Hi, and welcome back to Wicked Wands Tarot. My name is Carmen, and today we're going to do a reading for Capricorn. Let's call in spirit with some moonshine time. Not bad. I would say maybe there's a lot of action going on. Hopefully not a tower. We'll see. And I heard Lenormand before I started, so I definitely have to get you guys the golden Lenormand to start here. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far, Capricorn. I was lucky enough to go to the Minnesota State Fair today, where they deep fry pretty much every food you can possibly imagine. And I think my favorite was the deep fried green olives. Anyways, an inauspicious start, Capricorn. However, let's just remember that the coffin can also represent you know, like the world card, the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. So let's see, what else do we have for Capricorn today? A lily. Yeah, see this feels like the end of a difficult, chaotic, tumultuous time and the beginning of something more peaceful. There may have been snakes around you, so like frenemies, fake people that wanted to pretend like they were in your corner, but really they were sneaky as fuck and you've cut them out. So I like to re read these in pairings. So we have death basically with the coffin and I see the lily as peace, especially because it's white. It can also be purity, but we've got then the snake and the scythe. So it feels like somebody has identified who the toxic people are in their life and they are working to address the problem. All right, let's see. I'm still really enjoying these new cards. This is the gold foil tarot. Some of the cards just like feel different, both in terms of the ability to read them, but also just like the like, physical weight. It's a really nice cards. Okay, what else do we have for Capricorn, please? King of Pentacles in the reverse. So it looks to me like with this clarifying coffin, there's an end to a period of lack. So somebody may have, you know, had a little bit of struggle when it came to the finances. This came out kind of sideways, so I feel like this is totally validating what I'm literally saying right now. We have somebody who, With the Seven of Pentacles being sideways, I feel like this is something that's in motion, it's changing right now. So we might even see like the Wheel of Fortune come out. But we have somebody here who's been working hard but not getting the payoff, not getting, you know, the return on investment. So he's just sitting here looking at his pile, the thing he's been working on, right? Like why isn't this making me any money? Why why don't I have anything to show for what I've done? We also have the Queen of Pentacles. This is so much Earth energy, which makes a lot of sense, Capricorn. But it almost feels to me like we have a masculine here who is going through a period of lack, maybe losing opportunities, looking over at this feminine energy, Queen of Pentacles, doing well. His life was chaotic. Hers seemed real peaceful. What else do we have for Capricorn, please? For hidden energy, we have the Page of Wands in the reverse. This is clarifying the snake. I didn't really give too much focus to this, although I did say, you know, we're cutting out toxicity, right? So implication being this snake is not trustworthy and probably like is excited when you fail or are unhappy, right? 
it makes a lot of sense that we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse and the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. This is somebody, so we have the Page of Wands in the reverse first. Let me add all of these, right? We have somebody here who wants to hear bad news and that you are basically not getting close to achieving your goals. So it feels to me like a feminine energy that was trying to block probably a masculine energy because we have the masculine pictured at the top here, right? Being the one cutting people out and then also being the one who has peace now, right? So it's like somebody was able to identify the problem and cut that person out and that person that they cut out is this person who wanted to hear bad news, was emotionally manipulative, perhaps even tried to come off as caring or friendly, but really just like emotionally manipulative. Um, gaslighting would be a thing. Trying to like make sure people saw that she did like one nice thing <laughs> like no no did you see that i gave money to the homeless person like why are you bragging about that don't do that just get the money and move along we have the eight of pentacles in the reverse as well which could also be talking about somebody trying to block like a skill set like a specific thing that this masculine or maybe even this queen of pentacles is capable of that this Queen of Cups in the reverse might be a little jealous of. All right, so we have the Hanged Man clarifying the King of Pentacles in the reverse. This masculine energy is also coming out as the King of Swords, was using logic in matters of the heart. He was likely experiencing loss because he was prioritizing money or practicality in a situation that didn't call for it and karma has basically said hey you were like literally self-sacrificing your own happiness for money or for conventional beliefs whatever it is you were being logical and trying to cut out your emotions and that's why you're not getting what you expect back in terms of like return on investment for whatever you've invested in that's why you're not, you know, where you expect it to be financially because we want you to learn this lesson. You've been too focused on the superficial things, the non-matters of the heart. Hi, Priestess. So these two are turned over maybe from that last shuffle. This Queen of Pentacles has some pretty strong intuition, so this could be you, Capricorn. And she is aware of two things. It's like a line of sight here. We have the Queen of Pentacles being the reason this King of Pentacles and King of Cups in the reverse, also King of Swords in the upright, He's unable to make money and unable to express his emotions because he's stuck in his logic. His, like, I have to avoid taking risks that don't make sense. I have to focus on, you know, whatever promises I've made. I can't express my feelings. I can't even feel them. But this Queen of Pentacles knows about this. She is a high priestess and the fact that she's been able to somehow like validate this for people or people are starting to see that she has this talent is seen as bad news for this feminine energy that's a snake or dishonest. This could be a feminine energy, a snake that likes to steal and it's possible that this Queen of Pentacles has helped identify this for someone or maybe even like gave a warning. There's something that really pisses this snake feminine energy off about this Queen of Pentacles having insight into her. Probably like shady dealings, right? 
We have the Four of Swords kind of coming out sideways. So it's like this feminine energy tries to put off this like air of altruism. Like I'm a good person. I like to help people. I help them heal. So this could be somebody who's in a job or a career that is of a healing nature but they wouldn't actually be helping anyone heal. If anything, they might be actually like working against people healing. It's like they enjoy toying with people. They think that they're like a cat playing with like toy mice or something. There are two of hearts, <laughs> two hearts, two cups coming out sideways. Someone invested in the wrong partnership. Someone thought it was a smarter investment or that it would have a better ROI if they got with one person, probably this thief, snake lady. <laughs> That's right, I called you snake lady, we'll say. And probably passed up this queen of pentacles, right? Because there's unspoken emotions here. So he's realized now he's invested in the wrong, he placed his bet on the wrong horse. <laughs> hey, there's that horse. This is the victorious horse. So this is clarifying the hanged man. Someone thought by staying where they were they would have success. But I can't help but notice there's nobody like cheering this person on. This looks like fake success to me. This looks like somebody who's pretending to be successful. And even though they aren't, and that's what's most important to them, they also really care about their like reputation or how people see them. So it's like, I'm just gonna like pretend like everything's great and like occasionally show pictures of ex expensive things that I've bought like with my credit card and then people will think I'm doing well and then like I'll return on the next day or something. Like somebody here is like so invested in how people see them and it has a lot to do with like ego and money so they thought I don't want to like actually like work to make any changes I'll stay where I am because at least I have the money thing going for me. But it felt like hollow success. Like, they worked so hard to get there. They wanted to achieve this. And then, who's there to actually fucking cheer them on? It's like, you're there giving yourself the golf ball clap. How does that feel? It's like, lonely as fuck. And then over on the other side of the fence, we've got the Queen of Pentacles having a glow up. How else can you see this? We've got the Star and the Ace of Pentacles. That's like being blessed by the universe in a way that other people notice. Like, what is this person doing right? This could be somebody who's getting promotion after promotion or started their own business or has some sort of limelight. Maybe they're a stand-up comedian or an actress or something. But they have had more than one opportunity, I feel like. They have been blessed. And with the star clarifying the King of Swords, I feel like this King of Swords energy is well aware of it. He may have actually been a little bit of a witness to this glow up or he is aware of it because of social media. He knows, he sees that this is the person, the winning horse is the one who's winning, right? Seven of Cups in the reverse, he has clarity now. He also has clarity around whatever was said by this Queen of Pentacles High Priestess. He might not have believed it initially. It might have sounded too far-fetched or like not based in like reality. And now he's seeing she was, she was right. He's like, I get an air of like, how the fuck was she right about that? Like, I didn't see that and I knew this person. We have the Nine of Cups clarifying the Four of Swords. This is also underneath the Queen of Cups in the reverse. I'm 
this is kind of like my selfish card. It's not always like, you know, negatively aspected, but especially because we have this under the Queen of Cups, which is like manipulative, and the Four of Swords, I feel like somebody's kind of been like put in a time out for being manipulative. Like people could see that they were only after their own interests. Like they're the kind of person who would be like, at a party, like a house party, and like they run out of beer and that person happened to bring like two cases. There's no way she's gonna drink all that beer, but she keeps it for herself. Like, no. Nah. If you watch Key and Peel, I've totally been watching a ton of Key and Peel. It's like Megan's voice, like, no. Nah. It's mine. <laughs> like, totally selfish vibes. And then we have the Six of Swords in the reverse, clarifying the Two of Cups, which is also about this poor investment, right? Somebody invested in the wrong relationship, thought that it would go better than it did. Now they're going, like things are getting worse and worse steadily. Like maybe they're fighting more, maybe money issues are becoming more rampant. Maybe other people are starting to like crowd into their relationship, whether that means like they have opinions on their relationship or there's cheating. But there is something here about shit not being sturdy or stable at all. So, hashtag regret for this dude, I think. <clears throat> Alright, what else do we have for Capricorn, please? We have hidden energy of escapade in the reverse. If you're new to my channel, that's where it flips over but doesn't fall out. So we've got somebody who is... I think, like not able to leave somewhere. So somebody may have like car issues or maybe they have some sort of like illness that's making it difficult for them to move very much, like a broken ankle or something. But they're getting by, living vicariously through people on social media. This is in the King of Swords column, so I definitely feel like this King of Swords has been <clears throat> observing this Queen of Pentacles. We have Recalling and Racing, but both are in the reverse. Ace of Pentacles and Seven of Cups in the reverse. So this masculine is trying really hard not to think about what a blessing this feminine energy was in his life. He may be trying to like dull or blur those memories by drinking or, you know, other fun distractions. <laughs> but with racing in the reverse, this is like kind of tying back to that hanged man energy, right? Like somebody is like in suspension. Somebody doesn't know what to do. Somebody doesn't know how to proceed. Bleh. All right. We have hamster wheel in the reverse. Axis granted and magnetic. Somebody has gotten out of a karmic cycle. This may have been something that tied up their money and made it a little bit difficult for them to, well, like leave the house. Maybe they literally couldn't afford this expensive ass gas that we have here in the States. But like beyond that, we have somebody who's like, it's like they're walking out of jail and now they're getting keys to a car and they can go anywhere they want. And where do they want to go? wherever this feminine energy is that they keep thinking about or trying not to think about and then stalking online. This person could be using fake profiles, but it feels to me like they're working up the courage to no longer approach it as somebody with a mask. For some of you, this feminine energy has curly hair. We have Wish. And this feminine energy, like the more time this masculine tries not to think about her, the like more obvious it is that this is who he wants to be with. He might try to distract himself with other like flirtations, but 
it's all temporary in terms of being able to address what he's trying to actually address, which is, I miss this person, I love this person. It may have been like a roommate situation, a divorce, a need to like sell property. There's something here that this person was waiting on and maybe that's what caused like this hanging out on social media trying to like get information. We also have triggers. Kind of coming out sideways. So I feel like somebody is trying to avoid the triggers. So there may be a lot of like places or like things like maybe this masculine sees like one of his like ex's favorite taco place or something, you know, like there's just reminders everywhere. And it's helping this masculine realize that running from the situation forever is really not sustainable. We have karmic in the reverse, clarifying the daily hustle or hamster wheel being in the reverse. So I feel like this is this snake, right? The karmic has been removed from the situation. And the karmic has left the room. They're just like, done, you know? There's no hemming and hawing over this and not for whoever I'm reading for. Somebody is like, Yo, I can see your toxicity dripping from your fucking eyebrows. I'm gonna pass. See you later. So this karmic has been uninvited to the party. So we have happiness in the reverse, clarifying the magnetic pull. Yeah, this like masculine energy is just like not real stoked on the fact that he's so drawn to this feminine. It might just be he's had such a rough time with this karmic. Who can blame him for wanting a little bit of time for himself, right? Then we have negotiator in the reverse. I feel like somebody, well, I feel like the masculine is at risk of losing what he considers to be a blessing or his wish fulfillment because he's unwilling to compromise. He's unwilling to approach the situation with the other person's perspective in mind or at least consider it, right? Like this seems real one-sided for some reason. All right, we're gonna get just a couple of fortune telling cards here for you. If this is resonating, go ahead and give me a like or a subscribe. These are some of my favorite cards. I don't know if you've seen them yet, but kind of old school, weird. So we have, you will be very popular, take advantage. So you may want to keep the word networking in mind. If people really like you and you have some sort of business opportunity, it feels to me like that's what the take advantage means. So like maybe you're seen as an expert in something and you've never really decided to like try to monetize it and then you reconsider that. Take advantage of your popularity. A long motor trip. I love how they phrase these things. With a surprise at the end. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. What kind of surprise? And then we have, you appreciate the smaller things in life rather than the big ones. So it feels to me like somebody here is good at understanding the importance of long-term over short-term. You are inclined to rule and help people a change for the best. Maybe someone's supposed to get into politics, management. Someone who is ill is going to recover. So do what you can to be supportive, right? We don't want to be like uncaring because we assume somebody's going to be fine. But if you're letting something stress you out pertaining to somebody's health, do what you can to support them, but don't let it impact you, right? I hope you enjoyed your reading today and that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks.